everyone it's Julia I just finished up this new design for my field bag um, this will be a listing in my Etsy shop most of my items in my Etsy shop are made to order it's so even when this one is is purchased I'll still continue to take orders from it and so I will list the, the link um, to this particular listing so you can take a check and see if it's something that you might be interested in um, this one has been really I, I just a fun technique. I did use my Inktense pencils to do all the coloring on it. And I thought I would just show you how I created this. So stay tuned. This design has three of the circle flowers, kind of like a yo-yo flower. There's several layers on this. There's four layers. There's two on the outside of the bag and one on the on on the under flap. I always like to put a little something cute on the inside of the bag too. And so I'm going to be putting one of these on the under the flap. There is also a heart shaped um, flower on the outside of the bag also. And I'm going to show you how I'm cutting that. But the, the circle ones, I'm using the, the Sizzix circle die number two. And I just run it through my uh, Big Shot and I, I do have a video on this so I'll link that and I also have a video on how I free motion applique these so all of these are, are attached and I will also link that video for you but I don't have a heart shaped figs die and so I found this stencil that I have and there are a couple different three different size hearts on here and so I'm going to just be using this and I'm just going to be just lightly outlining with a pencil. Um, I th this big one is going to be too big and so I'm just going to use these two smaller lay layers and then I'm going to just kind of do a, th a third layer just kind of free sketching it so that it's generally the same shape as the other heart. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut these out and I'm going to free motion applique these together also and then let's get back, I'll come back and we will start painting with the Duent pencils. I have my three pieces all attached now and I'm going to start with a textile medium and I am using the um, folk art textile medium this is I've had this in my stash for years and years and years so I'm sure the packaging looks different um, if, but yeah any textile medium will work um, I do have off camera have water um, I'm not going to be I'm just going to be using the water to clean my brushes I'm not actually going to be using water for um, any other application what I'm going to do is completely wet the surface. I'm going to be doing one at a time. The brush that I'm using is a very stiff bristle brush. Uh, I think that's the only one that you're going to want to work for fabric because you really kind of want to get that into the text, the textile, into right into the fiber. Notice I do have phrase. Um, this is a free motion applique so it's raw edge and I kind of like that but that's okay with me so I'm working this in get a little bit more of the medium down here I've chosen a few different colors of the Inktense pencils these are the Inktense by Derwent I think I'm going to be using the pink one for the for the heart I'm going to use orange for one of the flowers and a blue for, for the other flower. And I also have chosen a, a yellow that I'm thinking I might maybe put some in the center also. Um, hang on, I just got my pencil full of stuff. What I'm going to be doing is, with my pencil, I'm going to be doing each one of the layers on the outside. Um, and then it's just I'm just going to get that ink down on the outside of each layer. 
I do want the outside layer to be edge to be a little bit darker. That's why I am going to apply most of the ink on the outside. So I'm going to be just doing this here and I'm going to stop talking. I've picked up a different brush. This is also very stiff bristle and it is a number one, number one round scrubber. This is actually a folk art uh, plaid brush that is specifically made for fabric. Again, very stiff bristles so I can really dig in there. Now I'm just gonna, by using my medium, I'm just gonna spread the color throughout this design. I'm working on the stems now and I have taken a piece of scrap muslin. I've put a heat and bond on the back because I'll be ironing this onto the bag and it'll be just easier to do it to do that now before I cut these out. I've lightly just drawn on with a pencil the strips that I'm going to be using. I'll be doing these middle three. I thought it would be just easier to give a little bit of leeway. Um, and I'm going to be kind of doing the same thing. I'm going to do, do some more experimenting with this by putting the fabric medium on and then using two different colors of green pencil to do, to do the color. So I love the way they're, they're turning out. I like the painterly look that it's coming together. So let's see what this turns out. My little flowers and my stems are almost dry and so I'm going to heat set them. I'm just going to put a hot iron on them for just a few seconds each and that really helps set that dye right into the fibers. I'm going to cut the stems out and I'm using a, a really old scissor and the reason why is I, I don't like to use my good scissor when I cut when, when, it, when something is, has a heat and bond on the back just because it's paper and paper is not good for your, your good scissors that you cut fabric. So I'm going to cut these out and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to lay it on to the field bag. First, a little bit about the bag. I use, this is the field bag and it's the color smoke, which is one of my favorite colors. I get my bags um, from a, a supplier, a wholesaler, and I will link that down below. Really cool bag. It's very sturdy. It's made out of 100% cotton. It's like a heavy, heavy canvas. It has two little things that attach it here. I do um, not always fasten it because this flap is so big that it'll flap right over. It's a great book bag. It's sturdy enough for that kind of a thing. It also has a little zippered hanging pouch on the inside, which is real handy. This is the area where I like to decorate the inside under the flap. It also has a long adjustable strap, so it can be worn crossbody, which is really fun. 
this bag is I think it comes in maybe six different colors five or six I carry about I carry almost all of them in in stock and then I will make them up as as people order them off my Etsy store so let's get busy here and let's lay this design out I found this it's, not, it's actually a piece of fabric that says life is beautiful I thought that was really fun I'm gonna stick that on the bottom here, let me get this flap out here so that's gonna go on the bottom I do have heat and bond so that I'll have to take off these the heat and bond just peels right off and then this is whoops this is um, iron-on it makes it so that it's iron-on this is heat and bond light which means that you have to still sew but it keeps it in place while you're doing the sewing Okay, now I'm just going to lay this on here and kind of get the design I want. And I've got this heart when I want that in the middle, and I want that kind of up on top. And I want this one down here. I also did a, a, a funny little, I don't know if you can see it, a funny little bird. I, I just thought it needed some little bit of whimsy, and I might stick that right down here. I actually, this is out of the same fabric, it's out of the muslin, and I did it the same way with the Inktense pencils. Okay, now for this, I think I want, this can maybe go a little bit higher. I want this one in the center going down. Oops, this also again has the heat and bond on the back that I'm going to be taking off. And I'll slip that underneath. I'm going to cut this on an angle. And then this is going to be part of the petal, too, here. Okay, and this little one is going here. I'm not going to be using all this stem. It looks like I've got plenty. Um, I'll cut that on an angle, and then that'll go here. Oops. Okay, and then one more. And I'm going to cut a little bit off of this third strip for the little petal. Scoot this over just a little bit. There, I like that. I'm gonna, when I actually do my machine stitching, I'll, I'll again use a free motion on this. I will um, put the little bird's feet on with my thread. So that'll be done. So this, the flowers do not have heat and bond on the back, back of them, so those will have to be pinned in place. But the rest of this I can just iron on, and I'm gonna do that right now before I flip it over and Put the little flower on the inside. Now for the under flap, or the inside under the flap, I'm going to add just this last little flower. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and iron that on, pin the top, and I will get to come back and show you the finished product. Alright, the sewing is all done. The design is on the front and the underneath flap. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit. I did decide 
to use black stitching for the little bird just so he shows up a little bit better and so I could draw it on his little feet and I also switched to a cream color again to put his little plume I just thought it kind of looked fun so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you check out my Etsy store for all my little whimsical designs thanks so much for watching bye